Chapter 410 Spirit Pagoda. Dubussy laughed heartily and said, Isn't that great? We'll be saving you out the trouble of traveling everywhere. Shrek Academy has already guaranteed that they will publicize this contract. Ellison frowned and turned to Who are you out? Who are you out seemed to have expected this situation to appear a long time ago? And Dubussy wasn't the only one to have such thoughts. The other powerful individuals from the various sects and academies were all very interested in this contract. Who are you out smiled faintly and said, You don't have to worry, elders. I have a suggestion for that. First, we have to split the process into several steps. For the first step, everyone will have to send someone from your respective sects and academies who has at least three soul rings and is a spiritual type soul master to Shrek Academy, so that we can conveniently train everyone together. Since Shrek Academy has promised to release the method of contracting spirits to the public, we will not go back on our word. Every powerful soul master's face began to sparkle when he said those words. Their heads bobbed up and down, and their eyes were as friendly as could be as they stared at Who Are You Out. Who Are You Out said, but everyone's eyes focused. They stared at him quietly. From their perspective, Who Are You Out definitely had some conditions to fulfill. However, even if he proposed certain conditions in favor of Shrek Academy or for himself, everyone could only agree so that they could have contracts with spirits. In the end, spirits could be considered something that would change the course of history for the development of soul masters in the future. Whoever could be ahead of everyone could develop one step faster than everyone else. Who was willing to give that up? Who Are You Out continued, but we need to have rules. First, the contract between soul masters and soul beasts must be established on the foundations of mutual willingness. Our rationale for researching spirits from the beginning wasn't so that we could boost the strength of soul masters even further. Rather, we researched spirits so that we could reduce the number of soul beasts we have to kill, and so that we can reduce the conflict between humans and soul beasts. Both humans and soul beasts are a part of the continent, and we are all part of the balance of life. Killing soul beasts successively will move humans closer to our own extinction in the future. Therefore, I have to ask everyone to remember this point. Everyone that Who Are You Out was facing were powerful title Dilwo, but Who Are You Out wasn't timid at all. His face was very solemn and serious when he said those words. The group of powerful individuals tilted their heads slightly. They were all substantially important people in the world of soul masters, and they were very clear about a future where the number of soul beasts in the continent was greatly diminished, and where top-tier soul beasts were few and far between. Therefore, even though Who Are You Out's words seemed a little simple compared to the benefits that spirits would bring, they were still moved by his words. Who Are You Out continued. Therefore, because of our original intentions, we cannot let the fusion of spirits spread unchecked. All kinds of circumstances will arise if that happens, and spirits will turn from a good thing into a bad one. Thus, I suggest that we establish an organization specifically for the fusion of spirits and the contracts involved. This organization will help reconcile humans and soul beasts, and we will fix states to execute fusions with spirits. Form an organization. What kind of organization do you want to establish? Dubussy asked doubtfully. Who are you out answered? This organization's main function will be to supervise and take charge of the contract between soul beasts and soul masters. At the same time, only spiritual type soul masters who belong to this organization can be taught the method of conducting this contract. These spiritual type soul masters cannot withdraw once they join. The group of titled Dulwo couldn't help but draw a cold breath when they heard his words. They were all intelligent people, and they understood what kind of immense strength this organization that Who Are You Out was suggesting they establish would possess when it was developed. The director who controlled all this would control all sources of spirits. Everyone knew how practical spirits were, and this was definitely the direction that soul masters would pursue in the future. Under such circumstances, if an organization controlled everything to do with spirits, how great would their power over soul masters be? This organization will belong to Shrek. Dubussy spoke his doubts without hesitation. If this organization was in Shrek Academy's hands, then Shrek Academy would no longer be the number one academy in the world. They would skyrocket to become the number one entity in the world. Who are you? Ash shook his head and smiled. Don't worry, elders. Shrek doesn't have this ambition. This organization will belong to everyone, and it will be managed by everyone. My suggestion is for all three empires to choose several sects and academies who will send out their representatives, and Shrek Academy will also send out our representative, and we will come together to form a conference hall for this organization. Every decision that this organization has to make in the future will have to go through this conference hall. As for the rules after joining this conference hall, they will be up to you, elders, and the three empires to determine. Everyone heaved a sigh of relief when they heard his words. Ellison smiled faintly, but he didn't speak too much from the beginning to the end. This organization had been something that Who are you out? Yen Shaosh, and the others had considered when they first began their research on spirits. If this organization wasn't monitored and checked, its strength would spread unchecked. There were too many tricks and schemes that humans could use against soul beasts, and who could predict how this organization would change in the future? Therefore, certain regulations were necessary for executing the equal contracts. However, this wasn't something that Shrek Academy could control on their own. If Shrek Academy was the only one controlling this organization, perhaps Shrek Academy's strength would swell rapidly in the short term. But when that happened, they would become the entire Dulo continent's enemy. Shrek Academy's strength would arouse the envy of others. Therefore, this organization could only belong to all three empires and Shrek Academy at the same time. The Academy seemed to be at a disadvantage in this agreement, but Shrek Academy only had their own city behind them, and their Academy was being lifted to the same status as the other three empires. So this was considered a success for the Academy. Furthermore, Shrek Academy was the one who had done all that research on spirits. So the three empires had nothing to say. They would feel they were taking advantage of Shrek Academy. Under such circumstances, nobody would object. Careful discussions and negotiations would have to take place in the future to determine how this organization would be monitored and managed. DTN had been listening quietly from one side this entire time, and a smile appeared on his face as Who Are You Out finished his speech. Clap, clap, clap. DTN began to clap for Who Are You Out. Supervise. This word is great. I hope you humans can achieve that. I think you are right. Soul masters contracting spirits by themselves is almost impossible. And no matter what, soul beasts will always be enemies to humans. Only those spirits who have completed a contract with a soul master infused into that person's body will become your true companions and friends. However, how are you going to find suitable soul beasts? This task will be very challenging for you, and only our soul beasts can help you with that. If you guys can establish an effective organization, then I will send a representative from my side to join in as well. The title Dulo's eyes sparkled when they heard his words. Soul beasts entering the organization wasn't a bad thing. Actually, it was great. This meant Etienne had basically approved this experiment, and when Etienne eventually sent someone to this organization, the great Stardo Forest would naturally assign those soul beasts that needed this spirit fusion. This meant the fusion of spirits would become a lot simpler. All right, let's do it. The body sex supports this decision. To he contemplated momentarily before he suddenly slapped his thigh forcefully. He was the first to express his approval. Ellison was sitting beside him. He twitched his mouth and said, Even though I admire you giving your approval, can you not slap your thigh next time? How painful can it be if I slap myself? Dubussy didn't seem embarrassed at all. Instead, he seemed very proud, and Ellison shook his head in exasperation. The other title Dulo deliberated for a moment before they also expressed their support, one after another. Of course, their support was not enough. This matter was very important, and still required support from the Dulo continent's three native empires before it could be rolled out officially. The appearance of spirits had changed the Dulo continent irreversibly. No matter what, this process couldn't be completed so quickly. The incumbents were incredibly efficient for achieving an agreement like this within two days. Who are you out exhaled deeply and quietly? He had finally managed to take this step, and all sorts of refinements and adjustments were coming, but his main task was to teach this contract to others and plan everything. He had to gradually withdraw from being the core of the research into spirits. Ellison looked at Who are you out with a pleasant and satisfied look in his eyes. Ever since Who are you out took the initiative to step forward and handle this matter with spirits, he had been very reasonable, and he had handled everything very well in all aspects. However, a dark shadow
Yu Ao was to take over as the master of the Sea God's Pavilion in the future, a blemish like this would cause great inner conflict within the Sea God's Pavilion. In the end, evil soul masters had great difficulty controlling their state of mind. What was even more frightening was that Huo Yu Ao was simply too talented and prodigious. If problems began to appear in his mentality when he became a titled duo, disaster would follow. Such a disaster wouldn't just include Shrek, but might also spell disaster for the entire continent. Elder Song wasn't the only one with this worry. Elder Song and Shen Liner shared the same concerns. However, they didn't spread what they knew about the army of undead, and only the few of them knew about Huo Yu Ao's undead army within the Sea God's Pavilion. In the end, the battle was very intense at that moment, and only those powerful individuals who were stationed on the northern and western fronts who were observing the Soul Beast's movements on the periphery could see this army of undead. However, only the three of them knew that this army had something to do with Huo Yu Ao. Elder Song no longer bothered with Dubuisi. He turned to Huo Yu Ao and said, Yu Ao, have you considered how you're going to establish this organization? What will it be named? Everyone was discussing things among themselves, but now their eyes returned to Huo Yu Ao. After Huo Yu Ao rescued those hostages at Sunrise City, and with his discovery of spirits, Huo Yu Ao shared the same status as those powerful titled duo. They understood that this creative and ingenious prodigy from Shrek Academy would undoubtedly become one of the strongest individuals on the continent in the future, establishing a supervisory body that was shared among the three empires and forming a conference hall of soul masters. The decision making was as generous as Shrek could be. The various powerful individuals wouldn't say too much about how the organization was going to be established, what it was going to be named, and whatnot, because as the inventor of spirits, Huo Yu Ao had the most right to make these decisions. Huo Yu Ao thought for a moment, then answered, "The main purpose of this organization that we are going to establish is to focus on reducing the killing of soul beasts by humans and to gradually change the relationship." between humans and soul beasts. Doing so will catalyze the completion of the equal contract between humans and soul beasts, and spirits will be a way for soul beasts to transmit their spirits on. Why don't we call this organization spirit? My teacher, the one who taught me how to execute this contract, left another secret method to create a magic formation in the shape of a tower so that the process of transmitting spirits will become easier, and so that a soul master's spiritual power can be more condensed. Therefore, our organization will be called the Spirit Pagoda. How's that? I suggest that Shrek City construct the first Spirit Pagoda. At the same time, the Spirit Pagoda's headquarters will be located in Shrek City. Shrek Academy is recognized by all three empires as a public place, so establishing the tower's headquarters in Shrek City will be most appropriate. After the first Spirit Pagoda is completed successfully, the second batch of towers will be established within all three empires' capital cities. These towers will serve as emblems for the organization, and they will also transmit spirits at the same time. My suggestion is for the third batch of towers to be established in cities that are relatively closer to soul beast habitats. This way, transmitting spirits will become a lot more convenient. As for how the organization will be established and what the rules will be, I'll have to ask you and the Academy to decide that with the empire's top officials. The Spirit Pagoda was called a tower, but in reality, more of how it was named was because Huo wanted to commemorate his teacher, the calamity necromancer Electrolux, who had passed away. Electrolux once said that one of the things that he had done in his life was that he had once erected an eternal tower. Huo Yuao had never seen that tower, but that tower was undoubtedly what his teacher liked most. He decided to name this new organization as a tower to commemorate him. Ellison tilted his head as he listened to Huo Yuao's words. He was very satisfied with Huo Yuao's suggestions. The organization's name wasn't that big a deal, as it was just a label. What was more important was that Huo Yuao had suggested that the Spirit Pagoda's headquarters be located in Shrek City. This meant that forces from all over the world would deploy powerful individuals to be stationed at Shrek. At the same time, the second batch of Spirit Pagodas would come one after the first one was constructed, because the first tower had to train sufficient soul masters with spiritual type martial souls so that they could expand their organization. After this period of time, Shrek City would undoubtedly wield absolute authority over anything with regards to transmitting spirits. If the Great Sardo Forest cooperated with them, it wouldn't take long for Shrek City and Shrek Academy status to rise by yet another level on the continent. Huo Yuan didn't swallow the secret of spirits by himself, yet he also helped the academy develop rapidly. What he had done was the greatest benefit that the academy could reap. That gloomy shadow in Elder Sun's heart because Huo Yuan possessed necromantic abilities dampened a little, at least, from what he could see right now, everything about Huo Yuan was still normal. Elder Sun didn't express his opinions directly. Instead, he turned to everyone else and asked them, Does anyone have any objections to Yuan's suggestion? This group included Dubusi, and these powerful individuals shook their heads and expressed that they had no objections and that they approved of Huo Yuan's suggestions. Shrek Academy had publicized the secret of spirits, which was a very important one, to the outside world. They were also going to establish an organization that everyone could participate in. The most important issue had been resolved, and it would be extremely shameless if anyone still didn't want to let Shrek Academy reap some benefits from this arrangement. Furthermore, Huo Yuan was right. Shrek Academy had always been known for their independence, and they weren't biased towards anyone. Establishing the tower's headquarters in Shrek City was most appropriate. And even though Shrek City was inside the Heavenly Soul Empire, Shrek City was actually similarly distanced from all three capital cities. Huo Yuan turned towards the beast god Dtian, and Dtian tilted his head in his direction. Dtian also approved of his suggestions. Huo Yuan would have to continue with his experiments, and all kinds of sophisticated and strict research would have to come next so that he could base the abilities of spirits on solid ground. Other than that, everyone would have to deal with the various and numerous administrative tasks needed to establish the spirit pagoda. Those powerful individuals all returned to their respective empires. They brought their first batch of soul masters who possessed spirits to their empire's royal families to convince them. Everyone began to work on everything that had to do with establishing the spirit pagoda. Huo Yuan spent most of the subsequent month on his experiments. Furthermore, experiments weren't the only things he had to do. He also had to draw the Spirit Pagoda's construction blueprints, and he had to record the spell for the equal contract and how to use it. This precious knowledge was sealed and stored inside the Sea God's Pavilion. Nobody asked Huo Yuao about his army of undead, and Huo Yuao didn't return to Shrek Academy. Dtian requested he remained in the Great Stardo Forest to continue his experiments, which also meant that he could let Shrek Academy's people see him, but they couldn't bring him back. Huo Yuao didn't object much to those requests, and he spent the subsequent month working hard at many different tasks. Shrek City was also very busy. They had sustained heavy losses when the beast wave washed over them. Repairs required quite some time and a lot of materials and resources. Shrek's merchants and businessmen began to work on all fronts. Furthermore, after those soul masters returned to their respective countries, it didn't take long before the three empires sent diplomats to Shrek City to discuss matters regarding the construction of the Spirit Pagoda. Just as Huo Yuao had predicted, not a single empire could resist the appearance of spirits. The diplomats sent forth by those countries were here to negotiate and discuss how exactly the Spirit Pagoda was to be established, and how this organization was to be controlled. The incumbents underwent a long and drawn out negotiation. Huo Yuan didn't even bother to ask about how the negotiations progressed, because these things were no longer important to him. He believed that everything would be fine with Shrek Academy at the helm. In the end, those spiritual type soul masters that the Spirit Pagoda produced in the future would be called Spirit Masters, which would be considered a new and separate profession. The three empires dispatched representatives from their various sects and academies to become part of the Spirit Pagoda's conference hall. Every empire had nine seats, and every member had to at least be a soul duo. Every empire had to ensure at least three people who were members of the Spirit Pagoda's conference hall were stationed in Shrek City. Besides these 27 members, Shrek Academy would also choose nine people to become members. Their status was similar to that of an empire, as they participated in the Spirit Pagoda's future development. All 36 members would control the entire Spirit Pagoda's operation and development, while the headquarters would still be established in Shrek City.
he was appointed as the honorary pagoda master, he didn't participate directly in the spirit pagoda's management, but his status within the organization was exceedingly high as, after all, spirits in the spirit pagoda wouldn't be around if not for him. At the same time, Shrek Academy fought hard to ensure Huo Yuo become the only person who could participate independently in the election for the pagoda master in the future. In other words, he didn't have to represent the four different parties in the election. The spirit pagoda's various rules, regulations, and systems were being completed. After discussing things with the Great Sardo Forest, the spirit pagoda wasn't constructed within Shrek City in the end. Instead, it was located five kilometers outside of Shrek's southern city wall. This meant the spirit pagoda would be open to humans and soul beasts at the same time. Within the spirit pagoda's conference hall, besides its 37 human members, the Great Sardo Forest had its representatives as well. DTM personally led this group, and he was part of the conference hall, along with the Emerald Swan by G, the Demon Eye Muria Demon King, the Bear Lord, and the Three-Headed Devil Mastiff. Five savage beasts represented the soul beasts within the conference hall. One savage beast would be permanently assigned to the conference hall to participate in all sorts of discussions and administrative matters. Furthermore, the soul beast representative would have a special status, and this representative would have veto power for the conference hall's decisions. Of course, this veto power couldn't come from just one of them. All five savage beasts had to make a decision before DTM could propose and use their veto power. The spirit pagoda's power and authority seemed split up, but in reality, the continent's three native empires, Trek City, and the Great Stardo Forest all supported it. This meant that there was no other organization across the entire continent that could compare to the spirit pagoda's backing. The humans hustled, and the Great Stardo Forest didn't idle either. DTM personally stepped out to communicate with several other soul beast habitats so that he could spread the situation about spirits to these other habitats. Huo Yuao wasn't worried about how far DTM could go. With the Great Stardo Forest's absolute status in the world of soul beasts on the Dulua continent, convincing other soul beasts wasn't difficult at all. Probably only the extreme north, which was a place of bitter cold, was relatively more challenging. But soul masters rarely ventured there to obtain soul rings in the first place. Three months quickly passed from the start of Huo Yuao's first successful experiment. Just like that, the spirit pagoda began operating on all fronts. The first batch of soul masters who possessed spiritual type martial souls was selected by the three empires and sent to Shrek City afterwards. Huo Yuao was in charge of teaching them how to conduct equal contracts. Shrek Academy soul masters were the first people to enjoy the benefits of spirits. Huo Yuao directed everything personally, and more and more students from Shrek Academy who reached bottlenecks gained their own spirits. Over the past ten years, Shrek Academy had gone through two different stages of vigorous development, with both soul tools and spirits, and Shrek City became increasingly powerful. Furthermore, the relationship between Shrek City and the Great Stardo Forest was being mended because of these new spirits, and Shrek City took this opportunity to rebuild and expand their city's surface area. They also made some long-term plans. Shrek City would be considered an inner city, and they would expand it five kilometers out from its city walls. Five kilometers didn't seem like much, but those five kilometers were extended from Shrek City's original walls. Once these five kilometers were built up, Shrek City's surface area would be equivalent to any large-scale city in the three empires. The Sun Moon Empire's behavior over these three months was relatively peaceful because of the Spirit Pagoda's establishment. The continent's three native empires didn't make a move against the Sun Moon Empire, and this allowed Chu Tian to heave a sigh of relief. To his own astonishment, time was also exceedingly important for the Sun Moon Empire. They had already spoiled their relationships with the other three empires, and a great war could happen at any time. The longer they could delay this war, the more time they had to prepare. Elder Tian. Huo Yuao was still in the Great Stardew Forest's slaughtering grounds inside its core regions, and he called out while standing beside the water of life as he faced the clean and limpid lake water. Over the past three months, the Spirit Pagoda had begun to take shape thanks to his hard work and efforts. Furthermore, he was the most welcomed human being inside the Great Stardew Forest. Just as how Wang Qiuo was treated back then, the Scarlet King became his personal bodyguard. Huo Yuao could proceed anywhere he wanted in the Great Stardew Forest smoothly and unhindered. This place was considered a forbidden ground for humans, but this place was like his own back garden to him. You're here. DTN's voice rang out, and a black shadow quietly appeared in the middle of the lake. This black shadow arrived by the lake shore in a few flashes. DTN had already handed everything that had to do with spirits over to Baiji for her to manage. Over the past three months, Huo Yuao taught the first batch of spirit masters, while also helping multiple soul beasts who were near death to transmit their spirits at the same time. As of today, more than 300 soul beasts have been allowed to extend their lives. From the perspective of the soul masters that these soul beasts fused with, this fact was equivalent to avoiding killing over 300 soul beasts. These soul masters would still choose spirits to substitute soul rings in the future, and they would kill even fewer soul beasts. Of the five savage beasts, with the exception of the Bear Lord, who rarely showed himself, the other four savage beasts, including the Beast God, were very satisfied with everything that Huo Yuao had done. Huo Yuao bowed respectfully to DTN and said, "Elder DTN, the spirit pagoda's foundations have been established. This is the first pagoda." So its scale will be relatively larger. Therefore, I reckon it will take at least one to two years to complete any follow-ups. There are 42 soul masters in the first batch of spirit masters, and their cultivation ranks vary from four to eight soul rings. Under my guidance and my teaching, they are all able to conduct the contract on their own. DTM nodded and said, "You humans are quite efficient. I've heard about these things from Baiji. Baiji was currently the first savage beast to be permanently stationed in the Spirit Pagoda's conference hall to represent all soul beasts. After the conference hall's first meeting with the whole committee, there were over ten members who had been permanently stationed in Shrek City, including the four Pagoda masters. There were nine other members from the three empires, while Shrek Academy's nine members were all members of the Sea God's Pavilion at the same time. Naturally, they were around, but in Shrek City instead. As for Huo Yuao, he had been living in the Great Stardo Forest this entire time. He had been very busy over the past three months, but the Beast God had treated him well. He had provided. Huo Yuao with all sorts of fruits that were full of spiritual chi, and in addition to the fact that Huo Yuao was transmitting spirits every day, his spiritual power became steadier and more consolidated. While his soul power was raised by another rank, he had used Shrek Academy's soul power detectors to test himself and discovered that his soul power was at rank 73, which was a little lower than his original prediction. However, this fact also told Huo Yuao that every subsequent soul power after rank 70 was of great magnitude. Huo Yuao estimated that, with his current cultivation speed, and if he didn't encounter any special circumstances, opportunities, or epiphanies, he would become a titled duo when he was around 30 years old. That would be an absolutely outstanding feat among humans. You were looking for me. What do you want? DTN asked Huo Yuao. Huo Yuao contemplated for a moment, then said, Elder, I've been accountable to you with regards to spirits. I wish to leave. Hey. DTN's aura instantly changed when he heard his words. His eyes suddenly became sharper, and he said, What's up? Is our great Stardo Forest not good enough for you? This place is full of spiritual chi, and so dense with life energy. This place is most suitable for you soul masters to cultivate. If you are willing to, you can even stay beside the water of life to cultivate. Your future is boundless. Who are you? I raised his head and stared right into DTN's eyes. Then, how long do you plan to keep me here? DTN was momentarily stunned. Who are you? I lowered his voice and said, You should know, Elder, that humans cultivate a lot faster than soul beasts. Otherwise, we couldn't have dominated and conquered the entire continent within a few short tens of thousands of years. Yes, with my current strength, you can easily imprison me in the great Stardo Forest. However, I trust that you won't restrict my cultivation, because that is the basis of my life in the end. Choosing death isn't difficult for me, but if you allow me to continue cultivation, I will become a title in about 10 years. Give or take. I will take 30 years more at most to become a transcendent duo,
DT muttered coldly, that enormous pressure that felt like a mountain to Huo Yuao appeared once more and pressed down on him. Huo Yuao forcibly resisted this pressure as he gritted his teeth and said, No, I'm not threatening you. I'm just stating facts. I will always be a friend to the Great Stardo Forest, and I can even promise you that I will never kill a single soul beast in the Great Stardo Forest ever again. However, there are still many things that I have to do, and I can't stay here forever. If you insist on keeping me here, then I will choose death. Kiyua has given the power of destiny to me, and you can imprison me here so that I will never be able to leave this place. But not even you can stop me from severing my own fate and destiny. This means that nobody in this world can stop me if I choose to die. DT and suddenly withdrew his pressure. He placed his hands behind his back and stared coldly at Huo Yuao. Where do you want to go? What do you wish to do? Huo Yuao forced a laugh and said, There's something that I have to do, and there's someone that I have to visit afterwards. And then, I have to fulfill a wish that I've always had. DT asked again, and after you do all those things, Huo Yuao was a little taken aback. He shook his head and said, I haven't thought much about afterwards. DT and said plainly, Since that's the case, then I only have one request. After you finish everything you have to do, you must return. You can choose to reside in Shrek City, the Spirit Pagoda, or the Great Stardo Forest. All right, Huo Yuao answered subconsciously, and his eyes filled with pleasant surprise in the next moment. Are you saying that I can leave? DT was expressionless as he answered, I know that I can't keep you here, just like I couldn't keep the Emperor Beast here back then. With your current strength, people will have a hard time trying to kill you. Here, take this. Dtian swung his hand as he spoke, and tossed something at Huo Yuao. Huo Yuao grabbed the item subconsciously. He looked down, and realized that Dtian had given him something like a pendant. This pendant looked like a leaf, and it was about as big as an infant's palm. It was black all over, and there were ridges on its surface. These ridges shone faintly with purple hues. There was a single black line strung around this pendant, which didn't seem very thick, but was very tough. Wear this on your neck. You're not allowed to take it off. You can go now. With that, Dtian turned around and drifted across the lake's surface. Huo Yuao grasped the pendant, which felt faintly fresh and cool. He stared at Dtian, who was slowly moving further away from him, and he instantly felt his mind and body relax. Waves of fatigue and exhaustion coursed over him as soon as he began to relax. He had toiled far too much over these past three months, which had been very tiring. Huo Yuao hung the pendant around his neck. He wasn't hasty to leave. Instead, he crossed his legs and sat down beside the water of life and started to meditate. Huo Yuao entered meditation very quickly because his mind and body were relaxed. Flourishing soul power flowed through his body, and his immense spiritual power naturally rippled throughout his spiritual sea. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.